Myth number one, you should wait at least three hours after a large meal before exercising. Truth for most healthy people, waiting about an hour is sufficient when doing moderate exercise. Myth number two, don't eat before morning workouts or you'll feel sick. Truth, a small snack 30-60 minutes pre-workout provides energy and prevents dizziness. Myth number three, any food is fine right before a tough workout. Truth, high fat or fiber foods can cause cramps or discomfort when exercising intensely. Myth number four, training fast it burns more fat. Truth, you burn a higher ratio of fat for fuel when fasting but more total fat when fed. Myth number five, eating after evening workouts causes weight gain. Truth, nutrient timing doesn't influence weight total daily calories do. Prioritize protein for muscle recovery. Myth number six, you can't build muscle without eating carbs pre and post workout. Truth, protein intake around exercise is more important. Carb timing impacts energy more than growth. Myth number seven, any snack will refuel your workout. Truth, look for carbs, protein, vitamins to properly replenish and reduce soreness. Myth number eight, you'll get fat if you eat late no matter what. Truth, night eating alone doesn't cause weight gain, excess calories do. Myth number nine, you should work out fasted to maximize fat burning. Truth, eating small meal beforehand provides energy, prevents overeating later. Myth number 10, need protein shake within 30 minutes or gains are lost. Truth, muscle protein synthesis elevated for 24 hours after training. Just get sufficient total protein. Myth number 11, any food transforms to fat if you don't work out after eating. Truth, nutrient partitioning favors muscle restoring glycogen over making body fat. Myth number 12, light exercise accelerates digestion and nutrients absorption. Truth, intense exercise diverts blood flow away from digestion. Light movement doesn't speed it up. The truth is, meal timing plays a lesser role than we think. Focus on total daily nutrition and finding a sustainable training routine. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.